when people come here, they will actually see a legitimate time capsule because everything they see once they get inside the building was left there in 1948. Camel Chung State Heritage Site is basically a museum and interpretive site for the historic Camel Chung and Company building. And the building itself was constructed in 1865. And in 1888, two gentlemen by the name of Lung An and Ng Da Kei actually bought the property, turned it into a general store, and named it Camel Chung. In traditional Cantonese, it would mean golden flower of prosperity. At the height of Chinatown and the Chinese community around the area in 1885, it's anywhere from 1,000 to 2,000 Chinese immigrants living here. Lung An and Da Kei were two prominent, very successful Chinese businessmen. And they became really probably the two richest men in town. They operated the store from 1888 until 1940 when Lung An passed away. Then in 1948, Da Kei fell, broke his hip, had to be taken to Portland to be mended. He thought he'd be back in a few weeks, so he just locked the doors and locked the windows, never returned. There's a main room, and it kind of goes into Kay's bedroom. There's an apothecary, a general store, a storeroom, Langan's bedroom, and a kitchen. Nothing in there has ever been added. Everything in that building was there at the time it got locked up. The fruit on the altar stands were left there by Dot K in 1948. They have just preserved right there in place. In Dot K's bedroom, they found a trunk underneath his bed, and they found $23,000 worth of on-cash checks, nearly $300,000 in today's money. Dot K had a good friend by the name of Charlie Lewis. One day he asked him, how come Dot K, you're not cashing these checks? His answer was, I don't need the money. They do. We are open from 9 to 5, seven days a week from May 1st through October 31st. We have everyone direct right here to the visitor center. The tour is actually limited to eight people just because of the space and the sensitive nature of the artifacts inside the building. Because of the 1882 Chinese exclusion act, the Chinese were not allowed to do a lot of things, but somehow they prospered in this community. With Dr. K's medical expertise, Wang An's business sense, Kamwa Chung was a social, cultural, religious center of the Chinese community between Boise and Portland.